welcome back to another video. Now, welcome back to Life is Strange number two. Anyways, where we left off, things got uh, pretty escalated pretty quickly, but um, hopefully things won't get any worse from here. I'm only hoping. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Oh, it's from Ryan. Hey, Alex, it's Ryan. Uh, it was really nice to meet you at the record store. Looking forward to talking to you more. Hey, nice meeting you too. Sounds good. Hey, Alex, it's Steph. Uh, sorry I had to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the Lantern tonight. You too. Alright, so we have a lot to cover here. So, first off, I want to open the bag and see what we got. Might as well... See what we have to unpack. Unpack Shushu. What's this? Oh God, Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Unpack comic. Ethan's really talented. Wow. I'm gonna read that later, though. I'm gonna read that later. Let's unpack the letters real quick. Alright. So there are a few letters we have to look at. One is Riley's. So. so Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. If that's the case, then you're an idiot, sir. Seriously. Unpack the damn photos. Let's just unpack the photos. Crazy how much we've changed. Damn. A lot, I would say. A lot. No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy, Dad's only kind of an asshole. Wow, that's crazy. A lot can happen in the space of, it, of everything, so yeah, I can see that happening. Unpack journal. <coughs> My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to have enough time yet. We'll, uh, go through that a little later. But it's good that she actually did. 
decided to raid the, the roof, so. Just want to make sure we get into things. Ugh. I'll finish this later. All right. No fucking way. Huh. <laughs> Alex, here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. <laughs> Gabe is just a dork, but that's cool. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, could look you in the eye. Dress like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather in a beautiful world. I wish I was special. You're so very special. But I'm a queen I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want So very special. God, I wish I was special. But I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. That might be a better option. Uh, why is it crack? I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Something must have happened. Uh, let's go set things right. We'll take a look around the place uh, right after. Uh, go downstairs.
Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine, I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now, you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? More falling. <laughs> Falling pretty damn hard. Yeah. I mean, I guess. But it's amazing to be here. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. He's a great kid. I know literally nothing about kids. But he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. Look at this place. This place looks amazing. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Eh... Uh, I don't know when he said that. I mean... Ugh. Come clean on that one. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar, all right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. All right. I'm over now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Tap your current objectives. Uh... So I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. Self. Huh. We have a lot My here. My dad was in the service. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman, 
is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Uh, kind of bizarre. I've been here one day, and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Uh, time to head to Jed. Jed? Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Let's see, uh, cheeseburgers, a cheeseburger with mushrooms, right? One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? Uh, she said pie with fries. Yes, pie with fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Gotcha. Oh. If you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. All right, that's fine. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Let's head upstairs. You need to find. You need to find that thing anyway. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. It has to be around here somewhere. Uh, let's take a look, shall we? Hmm, sculpture. We may have put it in one of the cabinets. Ah, check the liquor. Nope. Nothing. On up there? I'm surprised. Usually if he has a whiskey, it would be around this part. Photos. Oh, what is this? What is this? Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. That says a lot. Uh, let's search in the cabinets. Maybe there's something in. Ooh. Now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Brilliant. So. Ooh, it's probably up here. Ah, uh, check this part of the liquor in here. Maybe it's in here somewhere. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. How's that possible that you had anything in here? There's some video games, comic book, couch, uh, sculpture, of course. Uh, turntables. Oh, Jesus, you. There's a sword in here? What the hell? This man is a full on dork. <laughs> Um, mine hunt. Jesus Christ, nothing. Not a single thing about whiskey. This is ridiculous. How in the world do you manage to not? Uh, of course, he doesn't keep it up here for long. Uh, maybe deputies here now, so I'm gonna go head down. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. You still want to hit the trails later this week? Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. Maybe Deputy can is around here. I'll go find him. Um, I, 
I'll check on Ducky and Diane a little Devin's later. Not a bad company. New miner. Used to how they Weirdly enough, um, hmm. Let me see. Maybe he's around here somewhere. I wouldn't guarantee he's around there though. We'll see. Oh hell. Shit. Now Max scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. That's a good sign. Maybe there's some something in the bottles. Maybe I can go and grab one of them. Well, I have to clean up some tables while I'm at it, but Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? <sighs> what do you want, man? What do you want? Listen. What happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. <sighs> What's your point? Well, mainly you, but... That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated at... I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you want me... Wait, you want me to lie? Ugh. Sorry, brother, you are awful. You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. God, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me! Say what? Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Stop the cow! Definitely started it. Oh god. Were you there too? <sighs> call out Max. Call out Max. Call out, on, call out on this man's bullshit. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. No problem. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Say what? Am I under arrest? Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> I 
your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I, um, I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Might have some time to reflect on that. <laughs> I can't believe Mac tried to bullshit me. Like, really, dude? Really? So, I'm going to cover for you after all the bullshit you just got me through? Yeah, hell no. But, um, I'm gonna go to Pike real quick, because I need to speak with him. Hey, Alex. Just a minor question. Uh, have you seen... Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? No, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. That's a clue. Well, I've to get back to work later alex all right let me go and uh check the photos maybe there's something i can grab spook patron this one's from yesterday hold up it was colonel ducky on gabe's couch with the bottle wait a minute so if he was if that means that that was a towel right there, that would make a lot more sense. So, it has to be next to the couch, then. It has to be next to the couch, if that's the case. Am I tripping? Probably it's next to the couch. Let me look. Hmm. Maybe I can recognize recognize the bottle um from in here. Maybe maybe it's in here. No, nope, no, nope, cuz it wouldn't wouldn't know. Actually check the couch. Search the couch. Ha! Found it. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Uh. My pleasure. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. <laughs> Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. <laughs> to Alex. <laughs> Cheers. That's a tough one. Ooh, better be careful. That's a drink I wasn't expecting. My dad was in the Glad you could fill in today. No problem. Glad you could fill in today. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Alright, now to check on stuff. We need to go and check on her anyway. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Uh... 
Who are you sitting with? So are you um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. Oh, that's went Ryan. To get first aid. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. <laughs> he doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Uh, what are you? Is that record store inventory? No, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Remind me? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Uh, I'll give it a try. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong. You have to take the shot. Wow. Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Eh, no thanks. I gotta get... No thanks. <laughs> that shot looks a little too dazzling for me. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. Gotcha. Well, I'm gonna head I gotta back to work. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. I'm checking now. I'm gonna have to check the sudden patrons, so. though. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Thanks. You can't Thank keep you. an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Oh boy. How's your jaw? How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, 
I'm really sorry. I... Did, Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, Guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. I fought a lot, yeah. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? I guess some sort of power, I guess. But don't tell Gabe at that point. There's something... off... about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these... auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. Uh, no, I just felt it. No, no one told me that. I just feel it. You sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds, or stress, or trauma, or whatever. It's real.
Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Yeah, that, that, I guess that sums Dude, it up. you have superpowers. <laughs> More like, to be quite honest with you, sir, more like a curse. Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's... That's really special. Uh, spe special... Special... Eh, 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 more... Well, yeah, spe uh, special. special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. <laughs> That's awesome. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move now. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. This is gonna get tough for us. <laughs> 